the Nazis invaded Austria, my birthplace, in 1938. As Jews, my family was discriminated against. My father's business was taken away. I was arrested. My mother was arrested. My brother-in-law was sent to a concentration camp. Music helped me cope. I attended the Music Academy in Vienna, which was closed because of the political upheaval. A few weeks later, I went there to see what had happened, and I found German troops stationed there with their guns on the pianos. I went home and sat down at the piano, which I hadn't touched in a long time, and I played Chopin's ballad in G minor, and said to myself, no matter what, this they can never take away from me. My family got the Jewish newspaper called Die Stimme, or The Voice, every week. One day, I read that the director of the Jerusalem Conservatory, name was Hauser, would come and hold auditions. On that day of the audition, I arrived at his hotel at 8 in the morning. He came at 2. When he arrived, he said, I am sorry, I have an appointment and I must leave. I jumped into the taxi before him and said, I am going with you. There was an apartment with a few people there and a piano. He pointed to the piano and said, Spiel, which means play. When I finished, he said, I will bring you under all circumstances to Jerusalem. I didn't know whether to believe him, but four weeks later, I was in Jerusalem. I was studying and teaching at 16 years old for a year and a half and then came to America. When I got to New York, my mother and sister were there waiting for me. The first question was, where is father? Because I did not know if he was able to get out of Nazi Germany. And they said, he's standing right here. So after I arrived, I began practicing the piano at Steinway Hall. My father used to say that I should be a doctor or a lawyer. But after my town hall debut, four years later, he never left the house without the New York Times review of my concert in his pocket. Because of, of the reviews, the concert won the prize for the most outstanding recital of the year by an artist under 30. I was 21. Several years later, I went on my first tour of Europe. The last concert was for the Nazi victims of Norway, and King Hakon planned to come. But then his brother, the King of Denmark, died, and the court was in mourning. Therefore, he could not come. But then I got a call from the American embassy saying that the king is inviting 
all the artists for an audience a day later, but I had booked already a Norwegian ship, so I had to change to a Swedish ship. The Norwegian government offered me a plane to fly me to Gothenburg, where the ship, the SS Drottningholm, was waiting. On that ship, I met a 16-year-old girl who was seasick and had just come from Siberia. Two and a half years later, she became my wife.